The general election of 2017 was announced suddenly by Prime Minister Theresa May on April 18th. Nobody knew in advance what her major announcement would be and speculation was rife. But a snap election was called for June 8th, little under two months away. Campaigning was underway almost immediately. Before the week was out, Whitchurch Common in the constituency of Cardiff North saw the visit of Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn and First Minister of Wales Carwin Jones. Hundreds flocked to see the Labour men give rousing speeches. Later in the campaign, First Minister of Wales Carwin Jones also gave his support to Caerphilly's Labour MP, Wayne David. Applied Cymru members visited my local GP surgery. Lear Griffith AM and Cardiff West's Plaid candidate, Michael Dean, both popped into Woodlands Medical Centre to discuss GP shortages with one of the practice partners, Dr. Riam Bartholomew. The end of polling day on June 8th saw me in the affluent inner Cardiff suburb of Poncana and St Catherine's Church Hall. Final voters hurried to the door. The final dog at this particular polling station waited patiently with its master. I had stopped off at this polling station on my way to the vote count being held at the Sport Wales National Centre in Sophia Gardens, a very short distance away. At this venue, ballot boxes were already arriving from the three constituencies of Cardiff North, Cardiff West and Cardiff Central. There was a hive of purposeful activity and quick flicking thimbled fingers. Shortly after 2.30am, the first result was announced for Cardiff Central. Labour MP Jo Stevens had retained her seat. This was the first in a tide of red as Jeremy Corbyn-inspired Labour wins swept the city. Next came the most newsworthy story. Anna McMorrin took the Conservative seat of Craig Williams in Cardiff North. The delight of the first-time MP and her team was palpable and warmly shared with the previous victor, Joe Stevens. Finally for this venue was Cardiff West, my own constituency, where Labour's Kevin Brennan appeared to enjoy retaining his seat. Meanwhile, in Cardiff South and Penarth, Stephen Doughty completed a clean sweep for Labour. A Conservative landslide had been widely predicted in the weeks leading up to the election, but Jeremy Corbyn's Labour enjoyed considerable gains throughout the country, 